<laughs> I touched the butt. Okay, not really, it's a pork shoulder roast, but they call it a butt roast. Why? I don't know. Let's put this hoe in the crock pot. I'm gonna open it over the sink. I'm gonna pat it dry. It comes with this like cotton twine netting. Some people say take it off, some say leave it on. I'm gonna leave it on, not necessarily because I want it to hold its shape, because I'm gonna shred this anyway, but I just kind of feel like it'll make it cook more evenly. We're gonna season the living shit out of it. Grab some of this Kinder's all-purpose meat and veggie rub. And look, every time I use a seasoning blend, somebody gets in the comments and is like, well, that's just dehydrated garlic and onions and paprika. Okay, well, f great. It's all in one place for me. That's convenient. All right, really just mush it in there. All those little cracks and crevices, all the special areas. All right, it's good and crusted. I would usually let that sit in the fridge for a couple hours, but I'm headed out. So I'm gonna go on and throw it in the crock pot. Look, it's kind of hard to see because it's all seasoned up, but there's this fat cap. You wanna put that on top, facing up. Put it on high and I'm gonna let it go about four hours and check on it. And this has got enough fat on it that it really shouldn't need anything additional in the crock pot with it. Y'all know I'm just looking for a reason to use butter though. So I'm gonna put a whole stick of butter right on top. So my goal with this is to make a big pot of shredded meat that I can then use for like two or three other recipes. All of which will be in Come Fix You a Plate, which is on pre-sale at the link in my bio right now. I'll see y'all when I get home. Okay, it's been almost five hours. It smells so good. I'm gonna pick it up and put it in this bowl here and I'm gonna let it sit for maybe 15 minutes or so and then I'm gonna shred it up. There's all this good juice in the bottom of the crock pot. I'm just gonna put it down on warm for right now. Hey y'all, I forgot to film the taste test and show you what it looked like afterwards. But it gave me enough shredded pork to make those barbecue enchiladas I posted last night, as well as a nine by nine dish of cornbread casserole, uh, which I'll be posting later this week. It was really good, really tender. It just fell apart. Sorry about that.